So here they are. This is David Cross instantly being rude to Mark Norman. And if you've ever closed your eyes, if you could close your eyes and imagine David Cross, do you imagine him being nice? No. You imagine him as this little piece of shit that needs to be he, wiped I off the face. I think he's a little earth. piece of shit. I'm going to go ahead and say David Cross <laughs> needs to be publicly hit in front of a lot of people and then his pants pull down, everybody shows his small dick, then pushes him over a guy who's kneeling down <laughs> and then they all take pictures of him going, you have the smallest dick? You have the smallest dick? You have the smallest dick? He would do that to them if yeah. their pants got pulled down. And I then think. I want you to explode inside from the worst feeling <laughs> of that embarrassment. Because that's what I've never liked you. Ever. He goes out of his way to embarrass people. He goes out of his way to be, you know, I don't know if you know this. You're not good enough as a comic to act more than human. And you act more than human. You go around acting like you're this character that deserves its character to be in real life. But it's not a good enough character. You're just going around being rude to people. That's what your character is. Just being slightly rude in a very realistic way with no funny outcome for anybody. So are you a comic or are you just this creep? And what have you done with women, am I hearing from Jen Kirkman? <laughs> no, no. And I did say that in a Keenan Thompson impression. <laughs> yes, you heard that correct. That was my Keenan Thompson. That was good, actually. Thank you. Can you replicate it or no? no. It was one time. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. That would be Black Voice. That's well, Keenan Thompson from noticed. SNL. Who needs to let it go? I thought he was quitting. <laughs> Let it go. And we're not having a giant party and pretending you were a huge part of our lives. You are a forced part Don't of our life. sometimes once in a while laugh at Keenan by accident? Never. That voice. You know, he might be able to trick a little girl like you who's 40 <laughs> years younger than me. It's never going to trick me. Keenan's voice is what I call when a black guy. Too. When a black guy is what I call. And this is specific to black guys. It does not work on any other race. There is such thing, and you've heard it here, a cheap kind of black guy that means they talk as if they're a free download you get my drift they talk like a free font looks it's <laughs> cheap it's jerky it's stilted it's not a nice tone it sounds faulty i call that a cheap black guy examples of cheap black guys uh Fuck, there's so many. <laughs> but they're hard to remember their names because you're trying to wipe them off your mind. Uh, you've seen a lot of them in, like, black comedies. The seventh Like King role. Batch. King Batch, TikTok. cheap black guy. Uh, you've got, what's his name? He was in, like, every... Uh, fuck, man. I, I'm forgetting their names. There's, there's, I mean, most of these guys, I think, are in their 60s, 70s now. It'll come to you. But there, No, there's a million of them. But yeah, you don't even know their names. They're such shitty actors. They're not funny. <laughs> They're usually a little obnoxious. They overdo it. The sound of their voice isn't like... There's no control over their voice. You know, people who just yell and there's no control over the voice. They're just letting it go wherever it... <laughs> they don't understand. You've got to use certain muscles to control the sound. And that is a cheap black guy does not know that. And Keenan Thompson from SNL is an example. When he starts riffing, it's just, it's out of tune. It's off. It's, it needs focusing the voice. Keenan Thompson. <laughs> so, yeah, I despise him. I bet him. he's such and a nice guy that if he heard this, he'd be like, okay, great. There's I'll nothing nice like about him. It's just sadness. And I like to imagine, he, yeah, yo, big, big New York City. And he goes back to like, just a single studio apartment, and then there's a whole shot montage of him like sitting alone watching TV, Fuck, standing next said, to the sink. Did anyone watch Keenan's weird no eye contact visit to We Might Be Drunk? And I wanted to watch we that, did. but I forgot. We wanted to watch that. Keenan's no eye contact rule? Now we have to remember to watch that. I would love to see that. If anyone has a clip or a time code. But this guy's sucks too. David Cross. <laughs> And wait till you see how he treats Mark. And is David Cross woke? The answer coming up.
We will give you the definitive answer to that question. Is David Cross woke or a lib of any sort? We will or give you that answer. at the very least, woker than Mark Norman. Yes. Yeah. Because what would you say if you saw him? You'd go, yeah, he's yes. probably pretty woke. He probably voted for Kamala. He probably hates free speech a lot. <laughs> you know. And how can or you at least that? he'd want to appear that way, public facing. Public facing, but yeah, he's also, I guess, a section, a womanizer. Yeah, is this what did Jen Kirkman <laughs> say? Any more rumors? I love when someone jumps in. Oh, I've had a story about David Cross for fifty years. She did write a lot of rumors, but I don't think you want me to do a lot of long reading right oh. now. Well, can you sum it up to one? Like, what kind of? abuser Just, is here i'll read a short one a short one was david also gave dilla did basically a heroin in a pill to someone i know when he was a young teenage pa on mr show i think that's fucked up to do to a kid oh he gave them a sleeping pill that's what i mean what kind of pill was it what did it do a basically heroin heroin in a pill he gave it to a child I mean, is that what they're saying? How old was the kid? They're swirling. How old? Just a young teenage PA. Wow, say so twelve. <laughs> you hear it? You heard it here. Probably a twelve-year-old kid coming to work with his dad, and that's what David Cross did. Said, so "Now you know him under these lights. Let's see him under his. Roll it." Fun. Um. Okay. Go ahead. What? You saw that. The hesitation? Like you... No, no, I... I uh, yeah, exactly. I, I, you <laughs> just made an assumption, I think. That's, That's all right. I did. Um, but go ahead and sit there. Sure? Yeah. Oh, all right. back, in the, back in the red chair now? That's okay. But is that what you want? Because I know you... No, can... no, I wanted these two. Are oh, we okay. able to do that? Ooh, wait till you see this guy. This oh, thank you. You're wait till you see so what yes, he's become. you can have the blue chair or the red chair. I'll show you his face. All right. Watch this when he looks at me. With the, the seat open between us. Thank I'll you. This one. So here's here's what happened is uh, I came in. It had been a while since I'd oh, done a well, podcast. I was get out a good... on the road, and um, and I came in. And I came. Uh, in. And why are you allowed to have a voice like that? Mine's as goofy as a voice can get. Is this anything more? <laughs> this isn't. This is. Uh, are you a regular person? Are you doing a character? I think this is his biggest problem. He doesn't know when to do the character, when to be regular. I think he mixes it poorly. And I think his idea of a character is just a guy who tries to make somebody feel bad at the moment, right? No matter who it is, and there's no positive outcome for any crowd or anybody else. And then they had reconfigured the room... And because uh, this the way was the other there, day, right? The Tony Shalhoub. Yes. Oh, yeah. They, I could see they reconfigured the room. Yes. If somebody said, Mike, is uh, what do you think of this room? I go, ah, it looks like it was recently reconfigured. Or it needs to be reconfigured is what I would say. I mean, look at this uh, type of shot here. Now, of course, it's framed as if there should be three people here squeezed into this tiny mirrorless frame. Right. <laughs> Yikes. Is there anything worse than mirrorless? Ugh. No. What do they call it? Uh, crop sensor? Ugh. A lot of these podcasts you watch are crop sensor. Not good. You don't want your show to be crop sensor. Uh, it's something you should want your show to, to advance to a full frame. <laughs> One day wink, soon. Wink. So this is a crop sensor. This is a shitty lens. This is no care for lighting. This is a tripod on an angle. This is stuff thrown anywhere you could throw it. This is fake plant with light hitting it, making it look more fake. This is Kleenex box out in the open. This is fingerprints on the glasses. You know, this is chairs that you'd never put in your house. These are chairs you wouldn't put in a garage. But yet you're set. You treat it. How do we do design on a dime? <laughs> we must get this set made for under 300 at Walmart in a day. You would think that that was the challenge. No, this is just what they choose. Uh, but very cool on air sign. Ironically, off air. So I don't know when that gets turned on, but... Uh, at least he's a great host, right? 
here. Whoa. And uh, someone's like, it looks like I, they're yeah. sitting in the corner of an antique store, and it's like, no, it doesn't. That would no, be so sick. That would look way better than this. This looks like they're sitting in the corner of a handmade set by one of the H3 cast members where they had three hours <laughs> Like that Gordon Ramsay to show shop. where he's like, you have to make an app for this wine yes. company in one hour. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll do the design. You do the <laughs> coding, if you know how. Yeah, I know a little coding. So, yeah, this is, it's just so disgraceful to me. And these guys all have so much money! From all their beloved fans over the years and their agents uh, coercing movies to, to let them be in it. You know, the only reason people like this work is because they got a guy annoying the fuck out of everyone every day of the, of the year trying to get them gigs in work. Anthony Jeselnik, who you'll see later today, a new creep uh, out on the market here. Yep. Anthony Jeselnik, what's going on with him? So some of these guys are creeping back, and it's time. You know, you can't. it can't be all about Shane Gillis every day. You know, I wish it could be. I wish Shane Gillis would uh, make some moves already. Some moves for Red Bar, you know, to start, <laughs> start messing, messing up. up. <laughs> I'd love a big Shane Gillis mess up soon, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? That's like when you haven't had your uh, good food in a while that you really like. Ooh, we should make that. I wish we could make Shane Gillis get in tr big trouble right now. <laughs> uh, what if that? Wait a minute. And, and wish not on that. The lemon. My wait a minute is. <gasps> wait a minute. I actually not because of this. <laughs> this is second. Wait a minute. I actually can do that. I totally forgot when I really wish for people to get into big trouble, news trouble. I could actually make that happen and. I have this from the beginning of the show, that, ooh, that tickling fruit. <laughs> Does Did it you feel know? weird oh. right now? Oh, it's really weird. Put and remember, your shirt. these are all the dicks of the fools. Every <laughs> fool has a dick like this. Every person who ends up on this screen has got something like this downstairs. <laughs> That's why they're acting so strange. That's why they lie all the time. Believe me, strip my fool's nude. You're going to go, Mike, that's... You know, your fruit was at least, you know, yellow instead of what colors theirs are. You know, this looks better than whatever Shane Gillis got downstairs. And he's got one. Let's make no mistake. They only have one each. It would be like cool this. if it was the whole thing. Yes, if they had this whole thing, then okay. But... Down a guy's pants and it's that. Yeah. Then alien. <laughs> then you're an alien. And what am I going to do? It's kind of sick. I'm not going to be the guy, one guy fighting with the alien. Maybe I'll get into Henty. Is Henty that, has a lot of stuff. I think this is Henty. To Henty. Yes. So this is how you it happens. Thinking about the lemon being the guy's dicks, and then you start thinking about that would be a great prank phone call to to a great prank phone call to the market that sold this. It was just Whole Foods. Would be to accuse them of radicalizing me into hentai <laughs> by selling these. <laughs> You know, well, next time be... we do a show early, you can call it Whole Foods because that's where it was. This is nice though. And do you like the new red microfiber towels? I got a dozen of these down here. Look, you pull them out of a... This is a buy. I will recommend this. You can buy microfiber towels in a box like tissue. And there's 50 of them in a box. It, the box is like seven bucks. And then you get 50 of these at, at your whim. They're like reusable. Those. If you want to reuse them, you could reuse them as well. They're microfiber towels yeah, like you'd you see at the, car, at the car wash. They're beautiful. The colors are fun. I'm not going to tell you, you can pick any brand you want. This isn't a brand loyalty. I just learned about these, but uh, I have them everywhere. And the best part is you throw them everywhere. So whoever has to pick up after you, in this case, I have Jules. These are everywhere. 20 times a day, she has to bend over to pick up one of these. I throw them everywhere. They're everywhere. They're all over the house. It's fine. It makes it look like you've left laundry out everywhere because you're just... Using every time I need to wipe my finger dry, just I'll uh, pick up a brand new microfiber <laughs> towel and then I'll just throw it away into the sink. <laughs> okay, uh, we got to show you what David Cross is like now, and we've got to start doing some you know, okay, my wish was Shane Gillis getting into some trouble soon if that happens. And I actually feel within two weeks 
there will be a Shane story. I'm as confident as two weeks. Okay, I got to write this down. Write this down. This is where we declare something. And this could be a very minor thing that maybe only I pick like up we'll on. we'll force almost anything We can force anything he does. But within two can weeks. But I'm saying as story. small as that, within two weeks, there will be something happening to Shane uh, that will that he will not enjoy. And I hope that happens to David Cross. So let me show you some of the best moments here because something's going on with this. This is what he looks like, by the way. I wanted to... Jeez. Is that somebody you... He, it's very he close to Melton. Job, that looks like... like an opposite nose job. Uh, they added an extra ball to that. Yes, he's always, have, he's always had a santitic nose. Um, that is, yeah. And it is ruby red, usually. And, he, of course, he's got that Sa- Santa beard as well. And maybe he's this is leading up to Christmas. He's got a role in one of these movies of his where he plays maybe Santa's helpers or Santa himself. Ooh. And uh, just a um, an unpleasant look to him as well when you see him in action. I'll zoom right. in. Tony Shalhoub yes, was here. Whoa. And, uh, and I... Yeah. I uh, I was not happy with it. I mean, I wasn't shitty or a diva or anything, design. but because of what you just said, uh, I I like because you know Tony was just sit over there for one second. Okay. So what is he doing? Can anyone? It's too far. It's too far away. Far. It's too far. You got to sit over there. Yeah. <laughs> We're fighting. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, well, thanks for coming in. You know, thanks for having Glass- me. Yeah, and, uh- Glassman pulls this stuff, too, where you demand, make a bunch of demands for the person to do, to kind of knock them off, to make them uncomfortable <laughs> so that you could step in and take over. David Cross does this. There are a few, uh, and I don't know if David Cross is Jewish. It's not my business. But this is definitely a Rick Glassman type of move. You make people do all this. So, hey, well, can you actually go try singing over there? Oh, no, no, never mind. That doesn't work. Come sit over here. They, and you kind of, you work them up a little bit. And now you could have dominance over them. I don't know why you would want to make somebody go through uncomfortable moves the second they step onto your show. You want to warm them up, welcome them. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, well, thanks for coming in. Thanks for and, having me. Sorry. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, um, no, nothing to be sorry about. You're literally exactly on time. I don't I'll know that it. that's ever happened. Can um, I I'll do it a glass of water. No um, ice. Why? A, I think it takes up water room, and B, it clinks for the for the audio. It it does take up water room, Ooh. but will eventually be water itself. True, but okay. I think it takes more than it gives. Like uh, on the flight, I always go. Coke Zero, no ice. I want every drop of that zero. And uh, and you're. You're from New Orleans. Oh, yeah. You and, use my boy, Patton, out there on the road. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I didn't know that until just recently. Uh, he, <laughs> he had mentioned that. And uh, there's, and I get this a lot, t- too, but there's very, uh, I'm from Atlanta, but there's very, there's nothing New Orleans about you yeah. externally. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew okay, up so basically in the city. this entire podcast is that tone where they're both speaking so slow. Yeah, they really they never get, get comfortable each with each other. You can go to 1250. Here's another example of him being annoying. Okay. There you go. And that's... Or no, 855. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh of course. Oh, 0855. Okay. And, uh, okay, yes, yeah, so this is where it caught our eye. Okay, so we're, we're watching this. We're like, background noise. Nothing's happening here. What could possibly fucking happen here with these two boring people that nobody care about? Well, we started hearing stuff like this. Oh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Oh, even so better. So I don't know if you're, if you're on one of those plans. I am not. I, I don't. I'm 41 years old. I, I have never had health insurance. Okay, so he starts talking about Blue Cross Blue Shield and says, I hope you're on one of those plans. And Mark goes, oh, no. Never had health insurance. Now, this sends David Cross into a very strange 
rage <laughs> where he must just watch what happens here. Mo? No, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Oh, even better. So I don't know if you're if you're on one of those plans. I am not. I, I don't. I'm 41 years old. I I have never had health insurance. That's fucking crazy. I'm trying to go the whole life. <laughs> so you'll live to be 42. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to get health insurance, dude. I've what? never needed it. I I rarely oh, get sick. What? That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. I mean, I've had. Why do you care? What's this guy's deal with health insurance, huh? This got him fired up, and he hasn't been doing anything like this, you know, prior to this. What is the deal? Why is this personally offending you so much? Unless you're sitting with one of these Austin comedians and you want to see how great they are, you know? You've been sitting at home, rage coping about why the Austin comedians and the Joe Rogan crew suck so much. So you have them on and you do this little... Passive aggressive stuff. Try to make them look like, oh, well, let's see. These Rogan, Rogan guys, they're all stupid. I don't know. Or you're just. This entire podcast, they hate each other. Yeah. Okay, watch this. Watch <laughs> his little interaction here. Health insurance. That's fucking crazy. I'm trying to go the whole life. <laughs> so you'll live to be 42? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to get health insurance, dude. I've what? never needed it. I, I rarely oh, get sick. What? That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. I mean, I've had I've injuries. never needed it, so I, I don't have it. I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Break a toe. I go into the, the urgent For, care. Forget breaking a toe. I'm not talking about breaking a toe. First of all, you're 41 yeah. and you're a stand-up. Your yeah. body is going to break down quicker Ooh. than other people's. You think? Ooh, okay. What you He's going to start going into this. You're like, whoa, okay, papa. Jeez. But then I just had a thought, Jules. What? One of his favorite buddies that he pals around with, probably, Patton Oswalt. And that guy... In a hospital bed as we speak. <laughs> I always imagine Pat Oswald's desk chair is a bed and he's all strung up to machine. That's true. So maybe he's thinking, oh yeah, my friends Mark Marin, his wife is always dying. Wow. Pat Oswald, his wife is dying. Pat Oswald, he's always going to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, your whole crew is actually in bed with the fucking hospitals. It's like Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein's always at the high-end doctor. He's always at the hospital. And at the doctor between him, Gila, the three kids, and then the 800 times a month he's got to go for himself every time he gets a sniffle. These guys, I think, in this type of crew, they're kind of like Ethan Klein type of guys, too. And I think that they've spent so much neurotic time going to doctors throughout their whole life. You know? So to them, health insurance must be... Are you kidding me? That's like our favorite fucking bill. <laughs> health insurance. We love it. <laughs> How could you not have health insurance? How do you do all the visits? You know, but I'm with Mark Norman here. If you haven't caught my drift, this is my type of thinking. No health insurance. That's the way to go. That's what I would recommend to anybody. And then bowl the and dice. this is coming if from a very sick if man. If you're feeling really sick. Get the health insurance. But yes, and uh, I don't know if David Cross knows this, but when you have to pay for health insurance yourself, it's a lot of money. A lot of money to just throw away every month. You know, and then when you finally get to use it, oh, these copays. So yes, I'm with Mark here. I love this idea. I love the idea of not, uh, you know, being responsible in worrying about your future. I love the idea of that. For, forget breaking a toe. I'm not talking about breaking a toe. First of all, you're 41 yeah. and you're a stand-up. Your yeah. body is going to break down quicker than other people's. You think? What do you eat? I eat pretty good. You when eat? you're on the road, what do you eat? Percocet, Panda David Express. Crush is like a big fat Santa. <laughs> Waffle House. No. Um, Percocets you know, and Panda Express. I'm off bread. That wasn't easy. And uh, I drink one one day a week I drink. I used to drink every night. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Um, no drugs. Well, you'll all right. Remember when are... they said they wanted a Rogan of the left? Oh. I think we found him. <laughs> Everyone's insane. I wake up and I'm Oop. like just focused on like Trump. That's oh, it. Oh, I didn't mean to press it, but that's a good one. Don't talk so much about what you do. This is the Rogan of the left. He's just as rude. 
He's obsessed with health and optimization. I bet if he tried Bodega Cat right now, he would not be impressed. <laughs> he doesn't take ice baths, but he looks like he's freezing. <laughs> Because of all the white. So this could be the Rogan of the left. And what do all Rogans, no matter what side they're on, the left, the right, the libertarian Rogans, every Rogan can't stand a Normand. All right. No matter what variant. Okay, that's a Loki reference there for all you chin nerds. Whatever variant they may be, all Rogans end up hating a... Um, and people might be like, oh, wait, Rogan hates uh, Mark Norman? Yes. Yes, and I hope that's very clear to everybody. <laughs> Rogan despises Mark Norman, and Mark Norman gets under his every last nerve. Drink every night. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Um, do drugs. Well, you'll, all right, well, those are all good things. And, and yeah, you know, uh, you'll, you'll be kind of forced to clean up uh, more when, when your kid's born. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Boy. Um, gay or straight? We're waiting on that one. Okay. Um, and just like Rick Glassman, just like some of these guys, they're so professional that they'll throw jokes in even when they're in the mud. That's how professional they are. You know, this is something I like to teach. This is um, when a guy has been doing it forever. They might throw you off the trail. You might go, oh, everything's going fine. He just made a joke. No, no, no. Professionals like Cross here they know when you make a joke after your biggest horrific thing that's going on with you. He's in the mud, believe me, inside. Uh, it's all bad and negative. Everything that's happening here. And then he'll throw in a joke there and you go, oh, everything's fine. And the people go back to knitting that are watching this. Those are the kind of listeners you okay, have. Okay, you can skip You ahead. share listeners like online cinema or whatever it's called. <laughs> on cinema. You can go to 1250... But he's been lecturing him about health insurance okay. this entire lecturing time. Lecturing about health continued. insurance. Here we go. They're all in the PT and everything. And I have insurance. So Really? Okay. Well, now you're making a good case. But I also, I also have, um, I have insurance through uh, my unions, okay. you know. So there uh, he gets free insurance from the unions. Or very nice deal. <laughs> and here he is yelling at Mark Norman and uh, not realizing that it, that would have been $1,200 a month. So do the math there. If Mark Norman hasn't been paying health insurance for health insurance for 20 years, you do the math at home. I almost opened the calculator app. That would have been a death sentence, Jules. Just I a know. death sentence. I would have never figured that out <laughs> with know. all the weeks and the months. Forget it. I know. So, like but imagine saving. The rumor, I was like, oh. This is all you got to think. <laughs> imagine. Uh, one thousand dollars a month for twenty years. Imagine the savings. So then, you, yeah, you get sick. Then you go, well, at least I saved two hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is. I'll use the money I save now for all the big medical bills that everyone's so scared of, even though they're rich. How big could it be? I see Alex Jones sued for a billion dollars. That's as big as a fee could be, and he's out there. He's having a great time. <laughs> Don't worry about your health. Uh, SAG after and WGA, <laughs> yeah, and have for a while. I mean, I've had WGA since yeah. the early '90s, so that's been, and it's been really, really helpful. Yeah, I had a bad the rotator cut. I had that. Yeah, yeah. So he has no idea. Oh wait, keep watching for a second. So that's yeah. been, and it's been really, really helpful. Yeah, I had a bad the rotator cut. I had that too. That is the worst. It hurts to lift your arm, and I watched a YouTube video on how to cure it, and I, I fixed it. I, I mean, I'm, I don't know what to say. It's good as new. Never had one problem with then, it. Then you didn't really have a issue Maybe with right. it before. But it was bad. If I couldn't you, sleep. Okay. If what was So what did they tell you? I am bothered by a guy who defends doctors and likes doctors. Yeah, really, yeah. To me, the doctors are the most sick, twisted people. You know, talk about, I feel about doctors the way Rogan feels about Biden and Kamala. That's how I feel about doctors. Like, this is the world's evil. We must stop them. And guys like this, guys like Marin, guys like Klein, 
They love, they worship their doctors. Well, you've got to get who's your richest That's what I need. Okay, friend. yes. Does anyone out there know a rich Here, doctor to the start? Howie Mandel on Instagram. Yes. Asking if he can recommend you a doctor. This is genius, my friend, Howie Mandel. And he's going to help a fellow Yutzel. Yes. This is perfect, Jules. What a great idea. And we haven't spoken with Howie. Howie Mandel. Let's go to messages. Wow, look at this. Hey, Mike, just watch your episode with my Hinchcliffe episode, and I think it's hysterical. Tell your mom. Haha, glad you enjoyed. So we've been friends for a while. Hey, Howie. Um, I'm going to cut right to the chase. Don't you think? Yeah. Cut right to the because I want a real answer from him. Because if you say something else, he might just answer yeah. that and not the important question. Hey, Howie, um, I'm in need of a decent doctor. What do they call that? General admission? What do they call that? Practice for a general doctor? Yeah, general practitioner. I'll just say general. He'll know. He's a typer. He's on typing all the time. Hey, Howie, I'm in need of a decent doctor, general. You could say something like, I was trying to think of the richest person I knew to ask, and yes. you are who I came up with. So Do then it's like buttering you him up a little bit. have anyone you can recommend? Oh, come on. I can't spell recommend on my own. Give me that. Do you have anyone you could recommend... And then what was it? I wanted to ask a I rich person. to ask a rich person and you're the first person that came um, to, to mind. To ask a rich person and you're the first guy that came to mind. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, Howie, I'm in need of a decent doctor, General. That's how these guys talk, trust me. Do you have anyone you could recommend? I wanted to ask a rich person, and you're the first guy that came. i got to fix that. Don't want to sound like a caveman here. <laughs> that come to mind. And you're the first guy that came to mind. I need someone good. And you know good. Okay, don't, don't no, 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 no. Okay. That, that's good, but I'd say then end it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trust me, these Jews talk like I need someone good And you know good Primary care physician Yes Hey Howie, I'm in need of a decent doctor general Do you have anyone you could recommend? I want to ask a rich per Here, I'm going to put that in like uh, Brackets here I want to ask a rich person You're the first guy that came to mind Brackets or quotes? Or, uh, no, the uh, three brackets. On no, your no, 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 no. Trust me, this looks right. <laughs> like the Jew thing, where it's like a rich. No, no. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Howie, I'm in need of a decent doctor general. Do you have anyone you could recommend? I wanted to ask a rich person, and you're the first guy that came to mind. I need some good, and you know good. Here, what's, you can look how it's formatted what's here. The bracket? Look at it. Oh, okay, yeah. See how nice that looks. You know, I hope other people are spending time writing uh, something that can be read. I see so many people writing stuff. You know, they write to me. I have to do so much work to figure out what they meant. <laughs> you should be doing the work. Okay, here it goes. Blast it out to Howie. And the clock is ticking. It's 10.34 p.m. here, Jules. Write that down, that it was 10.35 p.m. Okay, okay. 1035. 1035. I want to see how long it takes for Howie to get back to me. Because that's a big part of this as well. So, yes. Um, yeah, I, she brought up a great point. I need a, like, one. Ethan Klein's got a doctor where he could, like, go in any hour of the day. And the doctor will do anything for him. And the doctor is very rich. <laughs> But maybe they just treat you like a piece of shit because you don't have insurance. Well, they need that money. I'll, you say to them, oh, yeah, I've got it. And that's the whole problem here. Mm. Well. And David Cross was right all along.
but he gets free insurance from his union. Free insurance from <laughs> the union. Okay, what's our next uh, Okay, code? so anyways, they he's mean to him here, but we can skip ahead. Yeah. Uh, 3400 is right. when it starts to get. So they, I had a couple oh, other yes. times. This is where things get uh, of extra. them being snippy with each other, but you get the idea. Yeah. So here's when they start actually. Okay, watch what Mark does, and this is, you know, I'm on. I'll pre say this. I'm on David Cross's side with this one. Oh, the Country Music Academy had some. Jesus, they, it was nuts. It was, uh, and I ended up staying. Like, and thank God, because I think Mark. initially we keep I was your eye on stay Mark down there, and then I ended up staying somewhere else because the. Hotel rates were insane, mm. you know. Um, but man, what a fucking nightmare that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's. Mark Norman <laughs> just lifted his leg like a uh, like a dog. I don't even want to say it. You know, that's humiliating for me to say something like this. What would you call? What is that? And I don't want you guessing them out loud. I'm just thinking to myself here. What is a non-embarrassing way to say what he has done? Because I don't want to be caught saying it. I'll show you what he's done again. He lifts his leg and does this. Um, but man, what a fucking nightmare that... Sorry. <laughs> he releases while they're talking, okay? And they've built up no sort of friendship here. It's been a rocky road this whole time. Okay, we're 34 minutes in. It's been nothing but kind of an awkward, <laughs> rocky time. And then Mark lifts his leg. Initially, we, I was going to stay down there, and then I ended up staying somewhere else because the hotel rates were insane, mm. you know. Um, but, man, what a fucking nightmare. That Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. I'm with you on that one. Oh, nightmare. We lost Cross. David Cross gets up and walks out. All right. So I'll, I got to say, you know, before we even go any further... It's disgusting. You don't do that. That's really vile. And the it's personal, too, because it's like, oh, so you're not even listening. You're just like working up a to blow off. That's what you've been doing this whole time when I'm talking. So I'm kind of talking to a guy going. That's not humane, man. Okay. And it's really hard so to take it, sides in this one. I this one, yes, I would get up. I would actually stop the show. I would say this can't go on. And, you know, Mark Norman is known for this. He does this all the time. He's farting. He's burping all the time. I find that to disgust. I, I'm just as hard on a burp. An on purpose burp. Let's be perfectly clear. Accidents are if Mark accidentally farted and went, oh my God, I'm a, and felt shame, that's fine. That's not well. I mean, it's of course that's going to be a big. But when someone's being so annoying, I wouldn't do it as a first time farter. Like if you're no. if you've never done anything like this in your life, then you would never. Yeah. But if you've already debased yourself by yes. farting on every show you've ever been on, you might as well let one rip in it front of this guy. Well, I would disagree. Out. I always disagree because it doesn't go with his character. <laughs> It's a weird fucking thing for him to do, and it freaks people out because then you go, oh, is he like an autistic weirdo now? It puts you on a whole nother level of guy to do that, and the burping too. When we found out Anthony Fantano always burps, you know, the reason Anthony Fantano's got 60 at its uh, second there in his music reviews is because he's constantly belching. At least he figured out the decency to edit it out. You know, he needs that time to go uh, chat GPT anyway. That Fantano. He looks up everything he says. <laughs> you know, I've seen him gush and gush and gush. It's like, okay, so you listen to 3,600 uh, CDs a day? And you memorize them all? He's a fraud. But yes, Anthony Fantano does this thing where he burps and it lowers you. Now I go, oh, you're more weird than a regular guy. And Mark Norman, yes. David Cross now goes, okay, so this is like a weirdo freak. And it doesn't fit the way you dress. It doesn't go with it. Uh, I guess it fit. I guess it proves, it shows that you're <laughs> really checked the out. the face that he's doing Yeah, it right depicts now. that checked out face. So you are like a checked out child. It's not just your hair and face. Got it. <clears throat> is that what you want us to know? Oh, okay. So he's like a child. 
That's always been my problem with Norman. The guy is, uh, you know, to me, whatever he's doing, whatever his routine is, it comes off as suicidal. Okay? The way Mark acts is like a guy who's committing suicide later this week. Plus the rumors, I was seeing shoot around about Mark in the chat just now. Wow. Good. Can I have one rumor, please? This is all no alleged based on just Okay, so we've got I'm a reading. you're this reading the chat. Content. We have a chat this here. Chat. Beautiful Twitch chat. Could be a complete lie, could be true. David knows that Mark has sexually assaulted waitresses and female comics. Maybe he hasn't, but he shouldn't do his show if he's such a woke lib. I'm sure David's wife, who is a huge feminist, knows the rumors. Mark Norman is a legit creep. I know comedians he's personally harassed and he's been blackballed at smaller clubs, but not the bigger ones. And I'm sitting here talking about his decorum. <laughs> Jesus, what are you doing with those waitresses? And yes, I've heard a bunch of rumors too. I feel like there's always like stuff like that floating in the air about him, but nothing ever. Nothing like sticks. It doesn't ever have any proof. Or, like, enough. We got to start pizzazz. digging into that. Yeah, I wonder if uh, there's been enough collection if he did it all at once. But if it's people are nice... saying this, I'm just like, I trust the people who Yeah, because, said that, Mark so. Norman, I mean, you're farting in public. That's an essay to me. So he must be so worried 24 7. Because he must. Oh, if, so if that's what this is. Rumors, all that. Like, I've heard stuff like this before. This is worried man waiting. Worried man waiting face. Yeah. That's why he's so kind of spaced out here. All the time. And his ears are connecting to his head. Is that what I'm to believe? Full connect? No loop? Yuck. <laughs> Sorry if you have that at home. Take a scissors. Cut it, please. <laughs> I can't stand that. I need a giant curve for some reason. You have one of the best curves out. I love your ears. Well, They're perfect I, gotta, in every I just got a slight lift. Very little. Just like this. So that I didn't... Uh, Ugh, they're gorgeous. Thank you. So, Anyways. yeah, I didn't know his ears connected. That's always a sign that somebody's doing something wrong. And if, hey, if you have a connected ear and you haven't done anything wrong, that doesn't mean you won't do something wrong later. So remember that the next time you get in big trouble for something that you did. Okay, so, uh, yes, the rumors. I love these Mark Norman rumors. He's, uh, he's out there. He's cheating. He's cheated on his wife, they say. Yes, people have messaged me that. Yeah, also. they say that he's constantly flirting with all the waitresses, taking them home. You know? But why does it always feel bad? Like, I never want to say something until a lot of people are talking about it. Like, you don't want to see it's even scary with someone else's story to be the first person talking about well, it. Well, I don't know. I just think it's just not interesting enough. You go. Yeah, you know, like Norm, you it's not real, memorable you enough. You need a face to the story, someone to tell their no, own No, I mean, it just needs to be more horrific. It's like, yeah, he's dating the terribly ugly woman. Well, assaulting waitresses. Oh, yes, assaulting. Yeah, I didn't know assault. I thought hitting on waitresses is what I said. It's assaulting yeah, yeah. them now? That's, I mean, I read that. Today. Oh, okay. I'm not saying if it's true or false. Of course. Well, yes, and uh, let me make this perfectly clear. And that he's I harassing hope. comedians that people know personally. A lot of shows you'll tune in and they go, I hope he didn't do anything like that. I'll make this perfectly clear. I hope he's done that and far worse. As I hope for every person we cover on this show, I hope for them to do the worst things imaginable <laughs> um, so that we could watch them and describe them. <laughs> so uh yeah i mean i hope with all my heart if anyone has any juicy stuff yeah send it on over so, it's more so that i'm just forgetting those stories because they're so quick anyways also he farted <laughs> yes he just farted and now he's doing this let's see oh, david cross gets lost up cross all right i had a uh, veg i had an egg wrap earlier the egg, it'll get you. Sorry, I should have given you some warning there, but I think I well, tilted even, it to the right. If you, if you, if you gave me a warning, I would have said you go out. Uh, I'm not going out. That's a good point. I'm not going to clear Emma out of here. You're the one who needs to go out <laughs> and fart in your own face. That's true. Sorry, I did direct it to the right a little. No, you didn't. I you like, went this way. I went right leg up. No, didn't I? Check roll the it back. tape. Roll it roll back. Roll it back. <laughs> 
Don't really roll it back. That's fucking disgusting. Sorry. Well, I figured you're a comedian. No, you, like you a don't. Good fart joke. But that wasn't a joke. It was just a fart. Well, a Who, fart is. Ah, uh, you're a comedian. You'd like a good fart. A fart is a joke in itself, is it not? It's my butt made a noise. Well, That's you're comedy gonna, You're going to be a great dad. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Ooh. Oh boy. Um, does your wife fart? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Mine it's really disgusting. Lets them rip. Yeah, I think everyone says mine really likes to rip. So everyone imagine that now. You remember her face, Norman's wife? Imagine her letting him rip. This is what he's going around saying about you. <laughs> you know, he's got no concern or care. He's very, that's what I see. He's almost suicidal. He's so depressed. You know, does he care about human life? I think this is a much bigger monster than people <laughs> notice. I'm they, getting a lot of messages. Uh-oh. Anything I good? I mean, not chat links is what yeah. I should say. Okay. That we can look at after this. Oh, my God. About Mark Norman? Yes. So what's Mark Norman? That's why he's cozying up to this Rogan. That's a safe space, a safe haven. This is where Jelly Roll goes to hide. This is where people from all over the world come to hide when they've got a big list of bad stuff that they uh, are waiting to get caught for. They go around rogue and let's go closer there. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. What's our Fine, next really code here? We can get a 47 yeah, 10. Okay. Wait till you guys see this. You're not going to believe it. Remember, the question was Is this guy, David Cross, woke? There's one of uh, this one, Mark Burr. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see. But keep that in mind. Is this guy woke? We're going to find out tonight on Red Bar. Now, if I didn't, that's, that's true. This. So, yeah. Well, you're a rare rare breed where you can do the uh you can do the silly stuff or you can do the stand up but you can okay so now he is he thinks is mark playing a joke on him look at this you don't want david cross looking at whoever imagine the woman <laughs> that he's tricked who lives with him and the stuff that she's up to imagine that so uh yeah he he thinks he's being uh you know this is a uh, prank video in the making here. And Mark Norman just openly does that giant burp. I can't stand this type of behavior. That's true. So, yeah. Well, you're a rare, rare breed where you can do the, uh, you can do the silly yeah, that's stuff. That's in the fact that there's no acknowledgement there. Again, it's very similar to the fart. The exact <laughs> sort of distaste emits from both of those activities. And it just shows that you're you either have no understanding of what it's like to be with other people or you have no care, but every avenue you take to find the answer is just yikes with Mark Norman. And then people start going, oh, he did this to a waitress. Oh, he cheated on his wife. Oh, I got links, all this bad stuff. Why are so many people saying this stuff about you? We hereby... Ask that Mark Norman respond to the allegations here that have been thrown around. <laughs> we need a public response on Twitter. This could be one of those things like the Hannibal meme with Bill Cosby, or there's like all those dominoes and it's like Mark Norman farting yeah. led to led him to. going to prison for life and yeah. revealing he's a serial Exactly, killer. a Hannibal Burris Cosby Everything situation. Yeah, coming out. Where it's because of this fart that disgusted me so much, <laughs> it finally drew people to go, you know what? We got to tell all these stories about Mark Norman. And when you add up all the tales, you go, okay, so this is like a... Dahmer type guy. Yes. This this could be a killer. This is a man of the night. He likes to be out at night all alone. He's always out at night doing stand up, he says. I don't know. He's running around New York City all the time with that worried look on his face, looking behind him as he jogs down the down the night. Well you can do the stand up, but you can also so he's paint yourself blue. What the fucking <laughs> Well, well are you, did you miss bro time or something? What happened? Ooh, did you not get time. to watch the the I, football game yesterday? Oh, I, don't, I don't watch football. Well, that's all right. Why don't you start watching football <laughs> and then you could save all and your And when a nerd, when an ugly little nerd who's very short and ugly and nerdy starts throwing around the word bro in a negative way, you go, oh, I see what's happened here. So you were a nerd. You're a nerd then. Okay. You hate bros. Got it. 
Got it. So it, it doesn't add up. It's just making you look very weak. Oh. Well, that's all right. Why don't you start watching football <laughs> and then you could save all your burps and your farts for the game. All right. So you good. hate the game. You hate the big game. You hate football, huh? I see. I see what's going on here. Kamala Harris, right? Biden. Ukraine, even. So I see. Okay, yeah, you're one of those. I see. This was tea time over here at the Cross Residence. Ooh, um, so Mark has a nice comeback here. Look at this. All right, why don't you start watching football, <laughs> and then you could save all your burps and your farts for the game. All right, I didn't know your... this was tea time over here at the Cross Residence. Um, it's What is this, Downton Ooh. Abbey? Huh? And that gets Cross. Look, Cross is stumped. <laughs> Cross is stump, and this is where he goes. I'm telling you, when you stump Cross, he has one place that that he can go, and he's done this with Charlene Yee, and it's coming up. <laughs> You're not going to believe it, but he has a history of going insanely racist when outdone, which I believe he was when he saw how amazing Charlene Yee's pants were. And how cool they were. Exactly. Okay, so is this tea time at the Cross Residence? That's a diss. No guy wants to feel like they're too uppity amongst a bro. We're here at the Cross Residence. Um, it's what is this, Downton Abbey? Huh? <laughs> Etiquette class? I thought we were just hanging out. She queefed earlier. <laughs> That's not true. All right. <laughs> no, that was me. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was very airy. <laughs> But sorry, it won't happen again. That's wow. the last expel of my body. Thank you. That's a good I, word. Well, I mean, here's the here's the thing. It's okay. not- so this leads into some really crazy shit. We couldn't believe it. No. <laughs> this is a shoot up moment for me. We're a shoot up. So let's go to fifty twenty. Yes. The big grand finale is David Cross woke. We find out now. Let's see what he says. Who gets no credit? Man, Bob had a, a really good idea for a sketch we never ended up doing about a uh, a um, all the hip hop guys were getting their they would go visit this like old southern racist guy and mm-hmm. his porch in you know Georgia or wherever. And it was basically, he would take, you know, their lyrics and he's like, oh, niggas ain't shit, but da da da, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and then they would all sit there. Excuse me? <laughs> Man. What the fuck? One, two, oh, niggas ain't three, shit, but da da da, you know what? What much. the fuck? Lyrics mm, and. Dumbass like, niggas. Oh, niggas ain't shit. What have you done? Holy smoke. Why would he say that? I thought he was a lib. Thank you. We thought that would be the perfect song. He said the word niggas. So we must cancel him. Let's go. (laughs) Send it to all his peers. Uh, But watch what happens. I couldn't believe he said this, right? Like, why would David Cross? People are so buttoned up about that. People are so buttoned up about that now, especially guys on this side. See, everyone's shocked. I'm glad I was like, good. You're shocked. Um. You don't hear this from anybody, especially a guy who you would think sets the rules. I mean, rules. even Tony wouldn't say it. No. <laughs> so let's see this again. And he says it so... He doesn't even <laughs> wince. Nope. His porch in, you know, Georgia or wherever. And it was basically, he would take, you know, their lyrics and he's like... <laughs> Oh, niggas ain't shit, but da da da, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and then they would all So sit. look at Mark Norman's face. He can't believe it either. <laughs> He's really trying to figure this out. He's like, is there 
What am I not this. getting about now this? Now he is thinks there... it's a prank show. Yeah. It's really wild to hear that out of David Cross, who's been so buttoned up about everything else. Health insurance is where he gets offended. You know, belching and farting, it can't happen. So you would assume <laughs> that the N-word can't happen with a guy like this. Oh, niggas ain't shit, but da da da. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and then they would all sit there and listen and write it down, and then they go. Oh, over. that's hilarious. Yeah, that's it was a great um, sketch. It was a good. It was a good idea. Yeah. That's very Chappelle showy. Yeah. Pre 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 pre. But I like that. Yeah. Just... You you gonna bleep that n word or what? <laughs> no, because it's the a. It's the a h. Uh... What? <laughs> You're living in a fucking fool's paradise. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that. No. It's the A. <laughs> when has that ever been a allowed rule? Allowed. I've never seen that. I've never I've seen them be <laughs> so mad at somebody accidentally lip syncing the part while doing a TikTok with the And other. they get canceled. <laughs> I mean, people go crazy over this stuff. Or especially maybe if you're a guy. He's willing to go this far to make Norman feel uncomfortable now. It could be. <laughs> I mean, he did it to Charlene Yi. He said, Ching Chong, Ching Chong, go away. <laughs> So look how uh, look how he digs himself out of this, and he doesn't seem to have any worry or concern. Um, Sketch. It was a good. It was a good idea. Yeah. That's very Chappelle show. Excuse me. Yeah. Pre 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 pre. But I like that. Yeah. You you gonna bleep that n word or what? No, because it's the <laughs> a. It's the a h. <laughs> uh, I don't know about. I don't know if that flies. <laughs> yeah, a h. Okay. It's your show. See, it to is me, my show. That Whoa, <laughs> it is my show, he say. Yeah, it is my show. So you're really... This is like when Melton stole Aaron's information. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me see how this goes down. So is Cross kind of worried? Is he going, uh-oh. <laughs> I, know, I, think I we forgot have to I was on tape. But why wouldn't he edit this out? It's his podcast. It is my podcast. Why would he want this out there? Won't this lead to trouble amongst his group? A, it's the A-H. Uh, I don't know about, I don't know if that flies. The yeah, A-H. A-H. Okay, it's your show. See, it to is me, my show. That worse, that's worse than farting. Uh, <laughs> wow. I disagree. I don't think when you're uh, in the context of this uh, idea, I think you can... You should be able to communicate it uh, as it's intended. But oh. Rogan went through this cancellation. Like Rogan went through this. <laughs> Remember when he was saying the same exact thing and then it was a huge news story and a huge problem for him for months. And still is amongst black people he has to look in the eye. How did you miss all that? How have you not heard the news? Or Remember George couldn't... Floyd with all your friends? It doing the George Floyd hustle all week? How have you forgotten? Or did you forget you thought you were off air talking to one of your buds, slipped up, got so embarrassed you can't show embarrassment? Or is he doing a power move? Or is it a power him? move? Yeah, could be a power move to put Norman back in that uncomfortable seat. You know, and he'll risk it all for something like that. David Double Cross. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, ain't neither of us respecting this space. <laughs> no. And believe me, the black community in our audience is Furious. sickened. Yeah, they will not rest till you tell them that. Everybody tell them, <laughs> dude, this guy played your clip of you seeing the N-word. He has a giant black audience. And if everyone says that, we could scare him into thinking that it's it's coming. Be like, he's got a giant black audience. He's this guy, Red Bar, white guy, but most of his fans, I think he came from hip hop. I don't know. Most of his, like Adam 22, it's a huge black show. And they're all, they're saying they're trying to find your house. Not the Red Bar guys, but the black people that heard about this from Red Bar's black community. And it's all over Twitter. And I wouldn't even go on Twitter right now. 
some guy said that he's got access to your account. <laughs> Melton or something like yeah. that. <laughs> but um, you guys could go ahead. Legal scare. We always got to say this. Light college style scare. Something that wouldn't get you thrown out of school. The principal would even go, okay, okay. And always include something that makes it ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so you always got to give them an out. Or else as it's subtle unfair. as it needs to be, but uh, yeah, no illegal. This is a light scare. Okay, the idea is this guy, Red Bar, Mike Red, and we have the clip. And Mike Red Bar, he played your clip of you saying the N word there. He couldn't believe it. And he is like a giant black audience. They're furious. Now they're all over Twitter, and now it's out of the Red Bar audience, and it's all just regular black people. And they're, this is. And it's a, been a slow news week for them, so they're, like, going crazy. And, yeah. Any other additions to that, feel free. I think the guy is a big enough stooge that he deserves this type of treatment and respect. So, yeah. Give him a scare. Let's see if he handles scares well. These guys at this age, it's their most fragile time. I like to really... You know, like that, I always reference this machine where you push it, the coin closer and closer to the edge to win. That's what I'm doing with these guys. That would be a nice physical machine someone could build for me. It is one of those coin machines of me pushing all the fools as the graphic. <laughs> wow. And then the coins fall over, but it is a licensed, ready-to-go coin machine, top of the line, from the arcade. But like a classy version. Vegas style. Okay. Someone's <laughs> say you're from Kais and <laughs> Yes. Well, no, we want it because we want them to see the actual Red Bar clip and want them to think Red Bar. But the the only bend here is that about the big black audience that we have. But of course he wouldn't be scared if it's a white audience. He knows they cheer for that now. <laughs> so yeah, we want black audience. Super disappointed in you, like a lot of guys that were fans of you and thought you were on the left. They're saying Mark Marin has we made a statement. You were one of us. We thought you were a lib. Mark Marin is sick from this. He's in the hospital. Patton okay. Oswald oh, made yeah. a statement. Patton Oswald said he doesn't really know you that well. <laughs> you know, because by the time he checks all this out. It's not going to make sense to him because he sees this clip of Red Bar doing it, saying it. Don't include this part. <laughs> but you can. You could still include this, and it'll take this knucklehead three weeks to learn about what's happened. <laughs> so that's what I like to do. And, hey, if he's any good, he'll just go, Psh, fuck that. What do you think? I was born yesterday? Fucking idiots. That's if he's any good. So you have nothing to worry about. If he's not a bad guy, he'll be able to brush this off with ease. Let's see. It's your show. See, it is me, my show. That worse. That's worse than farting. Uh, I disagree. I don't think it's not up when you're. It's not up to you to agree or disagree or decide. That's the unfortunate part. You could put that <laughs> back in the clip. My black audience says, "Oh, that's not up for you to decide. We make the rules about the word." Yeah, I said the word. So you're Danny now. You you said the word. Welcome to X. You're going to be exclusive over there soon. Uh, I disagree. It's I don't a blue think sky guy. When you're uh, in the context of this uh, idea, I think you can, you should be able to communicate it uh, as it's intended. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a big proponent of that. Uh, like if you're, if you're literally, oh, that's good um, for you. Quoting somebody, yeah, that you shouldn't. You should quote them. You should say that. And if you have an issue with that, that, you should. Then good. You have an issue with it. Is there any time where you should say the N-word? I don't think so. You should say that. If you're quoting it, then you should. You have every right. And make it, make them hear it. Why do you want to? Why are you so adamant? You seem like a perfect N-word nerd. This is your one thing? What else do you say? <laughs> Let's hear them all. What have you, what do you have any other uh, technicalities that we could use? Um, you should say that. And, and if you, know you have an issue know? with, uh, 
We were talking about Tony's complaints earlier. I want to know if this episode got demonetized. Yeah, did this get demonetized? Not- He'd go crazy. He'd be all over if it got demonetized. He wouldn't know what to do. But I'm just So I curious. bet this episode is up. Well, I don't think they're blocking that word. They can't figure out who said it. They don't have a race detector yet, <laughs> which they need. Scan the color. <laughs> and they should just be, be de- demonetizing certain nationalities i think <laughs> somebody yeah you shouldn't you should quote them you should say that and if you have a issue with that you should then good you have an issue with it and it makes you feel a certain way i'm not oh. offended i just worry about oh you're not people getting mad at you oh that's a, that's fine all right wow i respect that it's fine people are you. always somebody somewhere is always going to be bad oh. that's true that's fine not like that's this true. Uh, Mark, I'm going to have to uh, wrap it up. What? Uh, because I am Why? Part, uh, on What kind of ever? I'm going to say the N word, tell you it's fine, and the people could suck my ass if they don't like it. And then I'm sorry, I got to wrap this up too. So it was lovely farting, burping, and saying the N word with you. But now it's time to leave. Look at this, how he ends. I love. When somebody ends because of something bad that happened, like when people are Instagram living and someone's red bars watching. Oh, well, actually, guys, I better head out to my show. It's 4 p.m. I'm going to have to uh, wrap it up uh, because I am parked uh, on f- 17th and 4th. You got the baby in the car. And right? uh, yep, it's hot out. Uh-huh. Um, so I end every. You're on 17th and 4th, these New York scum, huh? Imagine someone talking like that. Oh, I'm on 17 and 4th. I didn't talk like that. I lived in a big city for years. Never talk like that. I don't even know the names of the road. That street is how You go down that street and then south, north, I, I don't know. Figure it out. You'll find the place. Google map it. Apple Maps is what we use, actually. Do you know there's still people out there that go, Apple Maps? They're remembering like... The first version of it, they they think it's crazy. I can't believe how many people go, use Apple Maps? And maybe they're right because no wonder we can't figure out how to get anywhere. Circle, circle, <laughs> circle, 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 mostly just to the Apple store. Uh, yep, and it's hot out. Uh-huh. Um, so I end every episode with a question from my daughter. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I never touched her. Okay. All right. All right. Good stuff. Sorry. Whoa. Um, so he doesn't like that. So, so no this, daughter touching. But this is getting into that M. Holt Melton world. <laughs> uh, because you're hearing about his daughter. You know, if you've been watching Melton, you've heard the words daughter. When I think daughter. When I, I think, think daughter, Melton. I think Melton, Aaron, Raketa. That's a big storyline in my head. <laughs> so now he's going to ask a question for his daughter. And then Mark does a perverted joke which is kind of like what Melton did about Aaron's kid. You know, Aaron's going around right now telling everyone Melton wanted to fuck my kid. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I know. Aaron is legit. Oh, I've heard it. Aaron M. Holt, legit going around and being like, this is the guy who openly wanted to fuck my kid. Well, I think that April is stabbing him in the back by even entertaining yes. the possibility of going to Melton's Hackamania, but I also think that's not April okay. and that there's a that's big... very inside there, but that's enough of that, so... If you know, you know. Let's see, does David say anything here that we need to see? That was my last time, but I'm sure he's an asshole for okay. the rest of the time. You said the N-word. We'll never forget that. And I'm going to make sure that's clipped and up there on George Floyd Week the next time we have one of those beatdowns. <laughs> <laughs> 